to all my black entrepreneurs. We got to do better, y'all. So tune in to the Entrepreneurians Podcast, where we help build better black businesses. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the Entrepreneurians Podcast with me, your girl, Tiffany Nicole, and that is Last Trace. Mm-hmm. That's me. <laughs> we, this is my favorite segment, the book club. Yeah, the book club. The book club. This ain't uh, my favorite, but it's it's a good one. It's he's starting to like it, y'all. Because he's writing down books. Like, we got to get it's this book. We got to read me. that book. It's yeah, growing, it's growing on me. Because he didn't want to do it at first, y'all. I'm going to put that out there. He was like, book club. Anybody want to know book club? Watch. It's growing on me. It's growing. We got the audio versions. Exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, Sue. So, yeah. So, what books have you read or listened to that have changed the way you view your business and your overall life? So the book, the book that changed a lot for me, it was the first book that I think opened up so many doors for me, um, was The Alchemist. Hmm. And Hmm. The Alchemist, I read this book, mm, that's probably like 2014, 2015, you know, and I think I was like in a dark place, you know, um, really dark. And I needed to, I needed to do whatever it took just to get myself into the light again, mm-hmm. you know. So you picked up a book called The Alchemist. I, I read <laughs> okay. this book called The Alchemist. It is, and a this book. was supposed to get you out of a dark place. I don't know if that was like my intentions <laughs> or anything. Like I knew this book, but I, you know, I kept hearing about this book being mm-hmm. such a great book. So I read The Alchemist, and you know, um, it's it's about this young boy and his journey through life, but it just has so many valuable lessons, Mm. you know, um, just of alchemy and, you know, changing this into that. And it was such a powerful book. Um, And then after that, I read The Secret. Mm -hmm. Because Mm. for me, I just, you know, I grew up with with a a pessimistic mentality. Okay. And so I had to grow up and pretty much um, change that mentality. You know, like, that's what I've been focusing on for the past, I don't know how many years, probably like eight years. Right. It's just constantly changing my mindset, changing my mentality, mm-hmm. you know, just, you know, making From sure that I fully believe in myself, mm-hmm. you know, understanding my greatness, understanding who I am and my thoughts, monitoring my thoughts. So on a daily, up, bring you up to speed, I really am not a book reader, like at heart. Mm-hmm. I like to read when I do get into a book and it pulls me in, then I'll knock it out. But Mm -hmm. it's very difficult for me to just sit down and read. But I am someone that loves to listen on a daily, somebody in the morning, you know, I'm making something, you know, I'll put um, Les Brown on, Reverend Ike, Mm -hmm. um, and Bob Proctor. Like, these are, you know, and then they, they have other speakers that come on. If I'll turn on one video... It'll be another video that'll come on with mm-hmm. somebody else that is in that same, right. you know, vibes, yeah. p- talks those same kind of like knowledge. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it may not be like about business per se, mm-hmm. you know, but I think like, you know, your spirituality, your mindset and the thoughts and things that you do, I think will ha- kind of lead you to the information that you need to have, mm-hmm. right. you know, and um, Reverend Ike, he's all about, he's he's not your typical pastor. He's He he was over at church, but he's really into, like, science, you know what I mean? And understanding money and manifestation and the laws of attraction and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. Th- that's what he's really about. But he uses and, have, and has used the Bible, um, Jesus, Christ, all of that. He's used it to basically show you you know, how you can utilize this tool to help you, you know, you know, be better off in life. Um, And I was just listening to him again today. He was talking about how the Bible is also a double edged sword. And and I believe that. And I agree, agree with that. Just being, you know, um, something that you can use for negative and positive. If you, if you misinterpret with Mm -hmm. your reading, like, you know, it It happens all the time. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. So, that's why it's, it's I don't very... think there's nothing more um, wrongly interpreted than the Bible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, you know what Listen, I mean? Listen, I got away from it for a long time. I said, no, because something ain't right. I, I don't get this says this, and then over here it says this. Yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. 
But now, you know, I kind of I take everything with a grain of salt, and you know, everything is about perspective. It, in particular situations, yeah. you're wrong, and sometimes you're right. You mm-hmm. know, so I kind of look at it in that particular aspect. But Reverend Ike is. I mean, he, I I, re- I really recommend people listen to um, Reverend Ike. He talks about money, the relationship with money. And, you know, a lot of times Christians will not think so positively when it comes to money, mm-hmm. you know, because it's a, a mistaught thing. Yeah. But he really gets into some very, very great um, messages. Um, Bob Proctor um, and Les Brown, they're all in the same vibe. and. Yeah. We can't forget Think and Grow Rich. I listen to Think and Grow Rich audio all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, and every time that I listen to it, I hear something different. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, yep. wait that's why, a minute. That's why you got to Go keep... Yeah, exactly. Because the last time I listened to it, something has happened between then and now that has changed in your life. And it's like, oh, wait. It stood out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or <laughs> or maybe you interpret something different because yeah. because some new experience that you've had now. Mm-hmm. Now something in this book hits you in a different way now. Yep. Right, exactly, wow. exactly. And you're more mature, you can apply things differently. Yes. like Or, or your financial situation is different. So now, oh, well, now I, I can really do this because now I have the funds to do to this do part. do these things. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You yep. know, um, the another great book that I love um, is uh, The Four Agreements. I never and heard that one. the four agreements is is a great book because you know I think when it comes down to the relationships that you built with people, mm-hmm. it's a great book for mm-hmm. you to have because you know they're going to tell you you know not to take certain things personally. A lot of times we're we're putting ourselves in somebody else's mind and we're totally completely off yes. with, with the situation. Mm-hmm. Is. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So yeah. it kind of really opens, not kind of, it does. It opens your mind you know, into certain things. And I think, you know, in business relationships and having a certain mentality is very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was a good list. That was a good list. That was a good list. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Mm. So please check out Reverend Ike, though, y'all. I am. I'm going to put him on tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put him on tonight. I got to wash some dishes when I get home. So I'm going yeah. I'm to listen to him while yeah. I do that. <laughs> yeah. Did we want to give Sue any books? Um, oh, give me some books. Oh, yeah. let me see. I think I think a good book for Sue is, um, of course, one of my favorites, Who Not How. And Who Not How talks about how you delegate out. Like, if it's something that you don't like to do, it's okay to find somebody else to do it for you. Mm, but Sue yes is like, indeed. ever since I've known her, she's been a self manager. I didn't know she had a team till today. Because oh, I yeah. always swear, like, she's doing her everything on her past own. past couple years. Yeah, so now she knows Who Not How actually works. Yeah. Without even reading the book, you've, you've implemented it. So that's one of my favorites. So what's one of yours? Um. Wow. <laughs> um. All right. So, dang, I didn't know you was going to ask me oh, for I one. You, you, you <laughs> threw it at me. I threw it back. That's cool. No, that's cool. It's cool. Um, I'm I'm trying to think of one that I didn't say previously. Previously. Um. Well, I know another good book I need yeah. to get into. Why you think is Atomic Habits? Oh yeah, I heard Atomic that. Atomic Habits. Good. Atomic Habits. Yeah. Yeah. Write that down. Yeah, a lot of that. people are like, yo, get into that book, yo. I heard of it. Every, like your habits, you know? Mm-hmm. So I haven't gotten into it yet, like, but... How many habits you actually have that you don't realize that you have? And things that Oof. would definitely change your your daily routine. If you change one of these habits, it's like a chain reaction. Like other things will start changing. So I have heard of that, and I do want to... I need to read that. So I'm going to write that down. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> All right, so... I thought of the perfect book. Okay. And it's our book. <laughs> it's called That's right. ABCs of B&Bs. And it's about um, running an Airbnb business. And it, it's a complete guide to starting and running an Airbnb business from A to Z. Nice. Literally, A to Z. That's my that's my <laughs> new favorite that's book. That's right. That's a good that's a good guy. I mean, cuz that's a great business. I know a it lot is. of people are doing mm-hmm. very well in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. And it's a, it's an ebook, so it's a, it's an easy, easy read. read. Yeah. Yep, easy read yeah. with checklists and templates and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, we've done we've been doing it for what five years? Mm-hmm. Five years. So, well, I think I think we're pretty versed in it. Yep. <laughs> to give out people yes, are always indeed. calling us, asking us how to do whatever, whatever. Right. That's what prompted us to like, okay, we need to put something together it. because everybody keeps calling and asking. But yep. you the know. checklist, I like you said that because with Music Artists University, 
Um, I created a whole checklist of just like, you know, things that you need to from start to finish when you are releasing a song, mm -hmm. things that you should do, things oh, that you that's should know. Good. Um, because on my journey, I started learning new things. You know, oh, I need to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to be on this platform too. Yeah. And this platform, you know, you start off thinking it's just here. Uh, you oh, you only need to be on BMI, you know, and and da da da. Right. No, there's like a list of things that you need to be on and mm -hmm. things that you can do. So I created a whole checklist, start to finish, that That's you good. can get. Um, and we have a bundle kit with a whole ebook and mm -hmm. you know how to organize all your music along with all your numbers. That oh, we you need, need that. Have. Is it somebody can go on your site and find it, or is it go like to Music Artist University and you can find it okay. on here? Comes oh, that link. That link gonna be below, y'all. We that's gonna get that. Jewel yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's Shout out to our show notes, girl. Um, Make sure we get guy. that in the show notes. Guy. Yeah, guy. yeah him. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna hear this and be like, uh, yeah, guy. Yeah, girl, it's guy. Yep, yeah, it's guy. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, definitely, that's that's really good because that could be so confusing. Because, uh, like I said, I could never do music business I because I'm just like. I all my copyrights. I need all my copyright numbers here. I yeah. need all my, this producer did this. Did I check off, make sure I uploaded my lyrics? Did I do, you know what I mean? So it's like. Those are the things yeah, it's like a lot you can forget. Yeah. So what's a good new place to be for an artist? A good new place? Mm -hmm. Like uh physical, digital, whatever. Like like maybe a location, maybe some some website they need to be on, maybe a an app. An app mm -hmm. or just Well, I'm gonna tell what's you a music good new artist place university. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Come on. That's what I'm gonna say. That's right. That's where you're right. a new artist, right. you need to make your way. <laughs> Music Artist University, I recommend that you pre-register because we're going to have the online version um, available within the next two months. Mm -hmm. So, okay. you know, um, literally, you're going to pay a subscription fee or if you wanted to get the lifetime membership, it's going to be available. A whole bunch of, like, courses, resource center. It's, like, everything that you need, groups. It's going to be... That's awesome. Like, this is, you should just sign up now so you'll know you can be one of the first ones because we're only going to have a limited amount of people that are going to get in for a certain price. There you go. Okay. And then after that, it's like you paying way more. Right. So, and then um, y'all can get some some testimonials from the first, yeah. um, the first round of people that come through. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now the price is not the yesterday's same as price. yesterday. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Right. Uh-uh. <laughs> so yeah, I would just say go to Music Artist University, get the uh, pre-registration in, so you could be the first ones to know. Uh, but our on our uh, in-person classes, if you are in the Philadelphia tri-state area, is available now. You can go to Music Artist University, hit join now, and you can sign up for those classes as well. We're bringing in our network, um, very very prestigious vets in the game. People have been around in the game for a long periods of time. They're gonna give you the game. They're gonna educate you. And, and you know, because I'm an artist myself, I'm not giving you no fluff. I'm right, not about yeah. giving you no fluff because we ain't got time for fluff. I didn't have time for fluff. So if I can save you some time and energy, that's what I want to do. Um, and that's so worth every penny. It's really worth every yeah, penny. That's, like that's, I should be wait. Yeah. It should be more. Mm -hmm. But the price that we're giving it to you and, and the things that you're gonna also get from being a member and and joining this class in person that's starting in May. So you gotta make a quick choice. Quick decision. You have to know. You have to be in the mentality like I'm ready to get this game. That's right. Ooh. And meet people. Yep. You know. You need to tag artists in this. Use that so tax refund so. to pay for this. Right. Yes. It, invest in yourself. Yes. Please. Yes. Thank yes. you, Sue. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, that's decent because so many artists need guidance, and you not only provide guidance, but you also make it so that. The artist's career is more efficient. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not wasting my time going over here when I need to be over here. Now I'm not wasting my time talking to this group of people when I need to be talking to that group of people or posting here or you know what I mean? I'm not wasting my efforts and my time and my money somewhere where it won't benefit me. You are going to help me as an artist be more efficient and more streamlined and now I can get to these goals faster. Mm -hmm. Right, period. Yeah. Yep, that's yeah. the ultimate goal. And we we want to, I want to, like, my biggest thing is really make you more of a professional artist 
it, than anything. Mm-hmm. You know, not just, oh, I sing, I rap. Yeah, I've got my music on Spotify, title, like, all right, cool, what else? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like, there's certain things, there's reasons why I literally get into certain rooms. And I can give you that game. There's reasons why, you know, uh, you know, I get certain shows over other people. I can give you that game. Right. So. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, we got connects, mm, y'all. Connects. She got a spreadsheet. I'm like, let me that spreadsheet. Yeah, that spreadsheet is worth a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So you have been a great, 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 great guest. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming through and blessing us. Please let our audience know where they can find you on all platforms and what you got coming up next. So you can find me at Suzanne Christine. That's S-U-Z-A-N-N. Christine, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Do not put the E on that Suzanne. Uh. (laughs) Um, And, um, you know, my hashtag is Sudat, S-U-D-A-T, which stands for Spiritual, Unique, Divine, Artistic, and Thankful. So Mm, if you are a spiritual, unique, divine, artistic, and thankful person, Mm. you can visit my website, SuzanneChristine.com, for some merch. You know, just as you know, support the brand if you consider yourself a suit at mm-hmm. as well. Um, and you can also follow my businesses, SCH Entertainment Inc. So SCH Entertainment INC on the Instagram, um, Music Artist University on Instagram. Um, and uh, you know, just website. My website has a lot of my information. So SuzanneChristine.com. Yes. Bye. Listen, write, write, the, write all your socials down for us mm-hmm. on the board. No, okay, right okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need, we gotcha. need all I need. Because I got, I follow you on at least two of them, but I don't think I follow you on the um, the the music artist universe. Yep, it's, yeah. it's so new. You're going to see it's like, oh, this is, I'm in here first. Right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to be first. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. Thanks again, Sue. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Keep doing y'all thing. Keep Thank showcasing you. and highlighting, you know, entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's our Can plan. you please come back and join us soon? Um, I don't know, maybe a month or two down the line. Just yes. come, come revisit back. us. Yeah, once the music yes. um, university gets up and running, we, we, we're going to come to you. Yeah, like well, you guys I mean, you could doing... go there and make some certain things happen now. I was because when you, I know you do in-person classes. We might have to come and start checking up on you and like doing little spotlights on you that during the classes good. yeah, yeah. the in person classes is starting in May yeah and we'll that's with um, Rockstar P and Shelly Show they helping me with that the oh that's yes 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 so um yeah, yeah. if you I go to the website about. you'll see okay cool um you pulling something up something else I wanted to say don't forget check me out at the Roots Picnic June 4th and June 5th here in Philadelphia at Fairmont Park Mary J. Blige, SWV, Summer Walker, Money Long, Music Soul Child, Jasmine Sullivan. The list is crazy. You already know the roots. And Christi- Suzanne Christine. Suzanne Christine is in the building. True that. You need to be there. Support. True that. You know, indie artists is getting a great opportunity in my city. Finally. 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 Hey, we need to get you on the uh, at, singing the national anthem. For the Sixers, that's yeah. that's we need to work on that. That's actually going to be in the works because I got the contact. Ah, oh, nice. so it's let's just hope. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> I had the contact before, but now there's a new contact. I got the new contact. The old contact was never giving me no burn. I don't know why. I don't, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it um, you know, it but this this uh this this time around, you know, we're gonna put put that through, and make it happen. Yeah, you know? all right. We need that contact too. Yeah. All right, it's, it's time to cut these cameras off. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to talk right, some y'all. stuff. <laughs> like, follow, subscribe. I don't all know, that. click the bell. <laughs> all that stuff people on YouTube tell you to do. Mm-hmm. Do all that. Do all that. <laughs> and we'll see y'all later. <laughs>